some examples of um, results on real images. The image in the upper left is the original. And then these images are the results of correlating that with box filters of size 3 by 3, 5 by 5, 9 by 9, 15 by 15, and 35 by 35. To show you an example in MATLAB. Let me go back to MATLAB here. Okay, so I'm going to create an image, a synthetic image consisting of all zeros, 200 by 200. And I'm going to put a white square in the middle from 50 to 150 and 50 to 150. So that is my input image. I'll create a box filter that is all ones, three by three of ones, um, and scale it by one ninth. So that is what my mask looks like. So the function to um, correlate um, the image with the mask is called IM filter, and I'll assign that to an image I2. So this image um, looks pretty much the same, but if we were to blow up the, uh, let me grab the blow up tool here, the corner, you can see that, uh, you can see how it, uh, it blurs over the edge, just like our example we did by hand. Um, I can also do larger masks. I'll use this MATLAB function called fspecial. So F special is a convenience function that can create lots of different types of masks. I'll use the uh, one, the average filter. So this creates a 15 by 15 filter of ones. And I'll apply that to my image. And you can see that the Blurring is much more pronounced now. Um, let me also show the use of these filters to reduce noise. So I'm going to add noise to the image, which is the um, generated by this rand function. So rand generates random numbers from 0 to 1. I'll subtract 0.5, so it centers it from minus 0.5 to plus 0.5. And I'll scale it by 0.5 as well. So this, whoops, this is a noisy image now. You can see the noise here in the square and the background. So if I um, create a mask now, let's do a 5x5 five five mask. And apply that to I. Okay, so here's the output there. So you can see the noise is blurred out. The magnitude of the noise actually is reduced, but at the expense of blurring the, the edges of the square. Okay, um, instead of using a box filter, we could use a Gaussian shaped filter. This is usually preferable to a box filter because it attenuates high frequencies. So I'm not going to cover the frequency properties of filters in this course, that would be our image processing course, but um, you can show that it does work better in the frequency domain. So a Gaussian filter, of course, is just um, has this form, e to the minus x squared plus y squared divided by 2 sigma squared. And this is a normalizing constant so that the sum of all the values equals 1. In uh, MATLAB, if we created a 15 by 15 
Gaussian using this function uh, with a sigma of 3 and such that the center is a 1 so we don't really have this constant here um, this is what it would look like and this is what it would look like if we plotted it as a surface um, wanted to mention this other term called convolution we often call the process this linear spatial filtering process convolution instead of correlation so correlation or cross correlation is the sum of products that I showed earlier namely you take the mask you take the image and you you offset it by s and t and multiply those terms together and add them all up convolution is almost the same thing except we subtract the offset s and t so essentially we're we're taking the value of the function in the opposite direction so and you can also show that it's equal to to this so effectively uh, it's the same as correlation except we first flip the mask about the origin so in the case of a symmetrical mask this would give us the same result as correlation but um, so we're probably not going to see this distinction very much in this course but I wanted to point out what these terms were instead of smoothing spatial filters we can look at sharpening spatial filters and in particular a derivative so we recall the definition of a derivative um, let me grab a different color here the um, the definition of a derivative is the limit as epsilon goes to zero of f of x plus epsilon minus f of x over epsilon in the case of digital discrete digital images we only have samples of f at integer positions so epsilon can't get smaller than one so this uh, definition really just becomes f of x plus one minus f of x if i were to create a mask to do this it would simply be a one by two mask with a minus one here and a plus one here so i could run this mask I could correlate this mask with the image and it would give me a um, derivative of the image in the x-direction an approximation of that I can also look at second derivatives uh, second derivative would just be the derivative of the first derivative so it would have this form f of x plus 1 minus 2 f of x plus f of x minus 1 and as a mask it would be a 1 by 3 mask with a plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 We'll see how these masks can be used for detecting edges.